Hi, welcome to Mark's English Academy, the place to learn English fast. Humans talk, but do animals talk? In this lesson, I'll show you. No, animals don't talk. This is what they do. Most birds, especially small birds, chirp, sing, or tweet. But larger birds, uh, like these here, don't chirp, sing, or tweet. They have their own sound they make. So, crows caw, parrots squawk, Owls hoot. That's why owls are sometimes called hooters. But the word hooters is also a slang term for a woman's breasts. That's why there's a very famous restaurant called Hooters. Because it has two meanings. There's a very funny movie called Dumb and Dumber, uh, and in that movie, there's a scene where one of the main characters walks up to a young woman and says, nice set of hooters you got there. And she goes like this, but he's talking about the owls. Nice set of hooters you got there. I beg your pardon? The owls, they're beautiful. Oh, yeah. Ducks quack. <laughs> Geese cackle or honk. <laughs> Hens cluck. <laughs> Roosters crow. <laughs> Doves coo. <laughs> Turkeys Gobble. <laughs> the word gobble can also mean to eat very quickly. For example, I could say the kid was gobbling down his food so that he could play with his new toy. So when we use the word gobble in that way, we, we usually use it with the word down or up. So the boy was gobbling down his food, uh, or sometimes you could say the boy was gobbling up his food. Both would be okay. English is weird. Okay, uh, so wolves howl. Also, the wind howls. So I could say I can hear the wind howling in the trees. Hyenas laugh. Bears, tigers, and other animals who eat meat and have big teeth, they growl. And horses neigh. Donkeys bray. Pigs snort, grunt, or squeal. Especially uh, baby pigs. Uh, when we describe the sound baby pigs make, we say they squeal. Frogs croak. Crickets chirp. Monkeys chatter. Sheep, goats, and calves bleat. Snakes hiss. Bees buzz. When we have animals that are more common, especially dogs and cats, we have more than one word to describe the sounds that they make. 
For example, dogs bark. <laughs> Usually we describe a dog as barking, uh, but dogs can also make some other sounds. For example, dogs can yap. Uh, we use this word yap especially when we're talking about small dogs that have a very annoying bark. So I could say, my neighbor's dog is very yappy. Uh, dogs can also yelp. We use this word uh, when we're talking about the sound a dog makes when it's in pain. So if you step on a dog's tail, it will start yelping. And dogs can also whimper. The word whimper uh, means that the dog is sad. Dogs make that, that whining noise when they're sad. We say the dog is whimpering. Uh, and dogs can also snarl. The word snarl is very similar to the word growl, except snarl specifically means when the dog pulls back its nose and shows its teeth. Grrr, like that. Uh, and so cats. Cats meow most of the time. But when a cat is angry, the cat will hiss. But also cats can purr. Cats purr when they're very relaxed and happy, especially when you're petting them. Like, it sounds like this. Wouldn't it be nice to be a cat? Uh, okay, so when humans talk, we know what they say. They say, hi, how are you? Please buy me a beer. But do we know what animals say? Most of the time, we don't know what they say. Uh, so, for example, I would just say, the bird says chirp, or uh, the duck says quack quack, or the turkey says gobble gobble. But for some animals, we do know what they say. I'll show you. Um, roosters. Roosters say cock-a-doodle-doo. And donkeys say hee-haw. And pigs say oink oink. And frogs say ribbit. And sheep and goats say uh, sheep and goats say ba or ma. Maybe other ones. I don't know. Calves. Well, a calf is a calf is a baby cow. Uh, so cows say moo. So I think a calf would also say moo. Uh, anyway, uh, dogs say uh, woof woof or arf or bow wow, maybe other sounds, I don't know. Uh, cats, cats just say meow or mew. Okay, another thing I wanted to point out is that these are all verbs. Uh, so squawk, hoot, quack, cackle, honk, laugh, howl, growl. These are all verbs, and when we talk about these sounds specifically, uh, most of the time you'll hear them in the continuous form. So when we make a verb into the continuous form, we need to add ing. Uh, so most of the time you'll hear these words with ing. For example, I could say, I can hear the birds chirping outside, or the hyenas were laughing. 
I don't know why we use laugh with hyenas. I guess their, their sound sounds like a laugh, but humans laugh. It sounds weird when an animal is laughing. I don't know. I didn't make these things up. Uh, or I could say uh, the donkey is braying or the crickets were chirping so loud last night that I didn't sleep at all. Uh, okay, so humans, we talk just like dogs bark. But dogs also yap, yelp, whimper, and snarl. So do humans do other things like this too, or do we just talk? Yes, we do do other things. And I'll teach you what we humans do. But first, it's sponsor time. This lesson is brought to you by nobody. Instead of watching me watch music videos, you could be watching me promote your product or service. Humans make lots of different sounds, but here are the first ones that I thought of. So the first one is whisper. This is what it means to whisper. You speak very quietly. And the next one is mumble. That's what it means to mumble. So if I'm mumbling, you would say, stop mumbling. I can't understand what you're saying. The next one is groan. <sighs> Why do I have to go into work tomorrow? Hum. This means to sing with your mouth closed. <laughs> and you obviously know what sing means. And whistle. <laughs> and laugh. I think you know what laugh means. But there are a few different ways uh, we can talk about laughing. Actually, there's lots of different words we can use, but uh, the first three I thought of are giggle, chuckle, and snicker. These all have really similar meanings, but there's still a little bit of a difference between them. If you want to hear examples of these, then maybe just go on YouTube and type in giggle or chuckle. Uh, okay, shout. Shout means to say something very loud. For example, if you wanted to get my attention from across the street, you would say, Mark, over here. And yell means pretty much the same thing as shout. 
Scream means when you're really scared. Uh, for example, if you're watching a horror movie, you might scream. I don't scream when I watch horror movies, but that's because I'm not scared of horror movies. But I know lots of people are. So if you go to the theater and, and you're sitting with lots of other people and you're watching a horror movie, you might hear lots of people screaming in the theater. The theater is another word for cinema. Some people use the word cinema in Canada and the United States. We usually say the word theater. I'm going to the theaters to watch a movie. Okay, sigh. Sigh means this. You can sigh when you're stressed. If you have lots of work, or you could sigh in relief. For example, if it's the end of the day and you've finished your work, then you go like this. <sighs> I'm done my work, I can go home and relax for the evening. Cry. I think everybody knows what crying means, but there are a few other words we can use to describe crying as well. We can say, sob or wail. Wail especially means to cry very, very loud. If you're in a lot of grief, uh, then you would wail. Okay, here are some of the sounds uh, that humans make. If you didn't know that hyenas laugh, then click on the subscribe button right down there, and I'll see you over in the next video. Take care.